Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the big show. Yeah. Paul DeZanke. Sean Rogerson. Today we are talking about TV, everything about TV. Um, how it's evolved from uh, variety shows to sitcoms to reality TV. Reality TV. Yeah. The big stuff, where it's at now. Yeah, yeah. we have uh, from one of the biggest franchises on reality TV right now, from the Real Housewives of Vancouver, Mary Silva is joining us today. So, we're gonna see what she has to say. Her opinion on everything, what she feels about reality television. Yeah, yeah. all the good stuff. Let's do it. Welcome, Mary Zilba. She showed up. We weren't lying. So today, the topic, TV. We're just going to be talking about everything TV, from uh, reality shows to, to cartoons, everything. How is filming a, a reality show? No, no, it's it's fun, but it can be um, very intrusive at times. So it's yes, it's when you know you're getting up in the morning and there's a camera looking at you in the face. It's Are they there like all the time? Up. No, it's it's not all the time, but we do shoot like three to four times a week, if not more, sometimes. And um, we we pretty much know like where we're gonna go throughout the day, but sometimes we can work 16 hours, and it's that's it's, crazy. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. 16 wow. hours, somebody in your house, and they're just not leaving. Well, you know, um, we were in Mexico, and we shot around around the clock for a couple of um, our episodes. Oh, okay. So that was pretty, we had to be there all the time. at all times. You're there all the time. Wow. Yeah, I mean, they may have given us like time to sleep, but that was about it. Did they yeah. set up scenarios for you? Like they plan your day? Or is it just say you got something? You know, the only things that something? they kind of set up was like where we're going to have lunch. Um, and sometimes we have input on that. Like, it was always Mexican, right? Yeah, it's always Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you know, they, that's, our show is not scripted. So many people have come up to me and asked that question. Yeah. Or they'll just assume it and say, oh, I know it's scripted, but, and I said, no, actually, it's not. Because people have a hard time believing some of our, the castmates, the actually. The that go on. Are that way. Are like, really I, like that. No, it's Us pretty too. authentic. Us yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you like the way you're portrayed? Because I know you said everybody's crazy. Do you like being looked upon that way? You know, I think it's a pretty honest portrayal of who I really am. Like, I, I um, sure there's things that I look at and I think, oh, I just can't believe I, I actually said that. But there weren't too many of those times where I was, you know, I, I am really a very kind of, I think I'm a nice person. I, I don't like the confrontation. <laughs> yeah. I really don't, I don't find pleasure in, in belittling others and I, yeah. you know I'm just not like that I think I, I was raised to say you know or to be if you have nothing nice to say don't say anything at all right and so I try to maintain being kind regardless of what has come to What's sometimes good? flown at me any yeah. regrets doing the show where you're like oh my god why did I do this you know there have been moments yeah. there have been moments where I'm like are you know what did I just do how many almost walk-offs during the show um, I would say it's a good handful. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. You just it's wake up in the morning handful. and you got a camera guy in your bed just like, hi. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I've been in the entertainment business pretty much my whole life. Yep. And so um, when they called, I, I was apprehensive when I found out what it was. <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay, I'd never really watched the show before. Yeah. So then I started watching it and I was like, uh, I don't know if I can do this show. Because I'm not, I don't have that, that nasty kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. catty vein about me really. I just don't. Did you w watch any of the other shows? Did well, then you like I started any to watch them. them. I yeah. hadn't at first. Then I started to watch them. Well, okay, there. Some of them can be pretty, pretty controversial. Yes, for sure. they are. Yeah. But um, I think some of them though are like just characters. Like they go out and they find these people that are just going to bring the drama. Period. Well, you know, bring the it, headache. I think the casting is really important, and and yeah. that's probably true. That's why they spend so much time casting because they want to know who's going to not mix. Yeah. <laughs> They're you know who's going to not mix, not who does. Um, yeah. A little bit of fire. Yeah. Is there any difference between the, okay, are you guys a real example of, say, housewives in Vancouver? Are you guys? <laughs> Just the like general Like, say, housewife. you know, a regular PTA housewife. Is that you guys? Oh. Um, 
Because the show is, what, is the what is, real. What is, what is PTA stand for again? <laughs> yeah. Parental teachers. No, I know what it stands for. I just mean, is there don't, another don't meaning to it? <laughs> we, did, we did not look that up. Let's just hope not. I'm gonna say no. <laughs> I would. I would assume no. Um, I'm not saying that my castmates are not lovely. They just have some unlovely moments. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> Moving on from that <laughs> question. Uh, I think we need to take a break. Uh, yeah, we're going to take a break. We're going to come back with Mary Zilva, talk a little bit more about TV. It's a day for the heist duel. We're talking more about TV. We're gonna talk, you know, the progression of TV, favorite TV shows, oh, okay. everything. You know, TV started, it used to be variety shows, and then it went to sitcoms, now it's reality. And then the soap opera, don't forget the soap opera. I think reality shows now have taken over the position of the soap opera. The faux, yes. the faux reality. Yeah, they was, have. Was all those shows? Back soap in the day, operas I guess. weren't really soap that reality, were they? Well, no. I think they were no, supposed but they to be kind based of were in voyeuristic, sort of. Of like course, yes. they, they were. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Until the demon stuff became yeah. involved. Yeah, and now there, it's. <laughs> I may have seen it. I may have now. seen a few of those. They're crazy. I know. That's and when I, mean. I was growing up, I'd always watch it when my mom was watching, and they were normal. They were in rich towns. They were doing yeah. things. Yeah. And now it's literally like, yeah, there's a demon. There's a warlock. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on anymore. Totally right. What was your favorite TV show going on? Oh my gosh, probably, uh, well, I loved Gilligan's Island, but that does date me, doesn't it? I, would, I like Gilligan's Island. Do you like I thought it? it was great. Okay, all right. Yeah. Um, Remember when Disney used to be on on Saturday nights, but they would, yes. they would put their movie on two separate weeks? So you'd watch like half the movie on Saturday, that's and then you had to wait. That's right, that's oh, right. It's a cliffhanger. You got to wait the whole, whole week, week for the next, yeah. Uh, well, you know, those were the good old days. I know. Right? Yeah, that now was, that was dinner time movies I know. all the time. You can that MASH. A DVD. MASH was a big one. You know, MASH, uh, uh, Clinger is yep. from my hometown of Toledo, Ohio. Really? really? Did. I actually signed autographed when I was Miss Ohio, I signed a hot dog bun and it sits in the case <laughs> that time. You signed a hot dog bun. I did, with a, with a Sharpie. And it's sitting in a case mm. at Tony Packard's I was going to say, and it's still around, is it? It's still as hell. Mm. They, just, they just spray it up with a rough, that's a rough bun. <laughs> what else? Sitcoms. I used to watch sitcoms. They're not really around anymore. They've been kind of taken over by yeah, what other happened things. To sitcoms? I think I they're know. making a comeback. Are they? Are they? I think so. I think they're going to start to make a comeback. I think they're trying to bring it back. Really? Yeah. Seinfeld was big. Then there was what else? They're not like they, they won't be like they used huge, to be. Right? Yeah, Cheers was awesome. Yeah, right. I never got into Friends. Sorry, Jennifer no. Aniston, but I, <laughs> I never, yeah. I never really watched it. But yeah. Sitcoms, yeah. They were. That's where the stars came from. Now yeah. the stars you see on magazines, they're back. like the teenage moms. I don't know who these people yeah, are. Yeah, I know, I know. That, yeah. Like the Kardashians. We were talking about them. You yeah. know, it, it just how they've changed the face of fame. Like Bruce Jenner, famous athlete. Now yeah. he's Kim's dad. Yeah. Like how does that happen? Yeah, and Paris Hilton, the whole, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got a question about Bruce Jenner. How did he maintain, do you think, like this financial uh, aspect of his life? through, like, where did he get all his money? I know he did the Olympics, but Cheerios, what, how did it all, brand flakes, is it all brand branding? <laughs> where did it, how does he? Um, I'm sorry, I'm just getting distracted right this minute. Sorry, from <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just... Hold on, uh -oh. I don't know where I am. We're gonna this need a is minute. one big ass boom. <laughs> okay. It's a big it's, boom. Is that the biggest boom you've seen today? That is the biggest <laughs> boom like, um, I've ever seen. Okay, I just have to, that was just hanging over my head. I'm like, okay. That's the best compliment we just got yeah. today. Is it your boom? <laughs> <laughs> what were we talking about? Uh, you were talking it's okay. about Bruce okay. Jenner. I'm yes. sorry. It's fine. Okay, it's continue. Fine. Yeah, how I'm assuming with the speed he had, he didn't have a big boom. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> What? <laughs> What's going on there? Am I allowed <laughs> to can I, you say those things we as a guy? I'm not here. sure. I don't know. Let's use that as a segue. Yep, Why let's get is somewhere every else. reality show person doing a sex tape now? Paris well, Hilton, Kim Kardashian. 
we're going to wait for Bruce Jenner. I, 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 I don't know. Has Bruce Jenner done one too? No, we're waiting now. <laughs> I mean, Hulk Hogan just degrading did Bruce Did Jenner Hulk Hogan right do now one? Completely. Hulk Hogan has one. Why do people want to like tape themselves having sex? I don't really get that. I don't that think they, they... For I, fun. Yeah? I think a lot of times they don't mean for it to come out, but then all of a sudden they're like, my career's tanking. Oh, wait, I remember wow. doing that thing. Let's put it out there. Maybe I'll get more famous again, thing. right? Yeah, I can see that if you're wanting to go into porn, thing. right? You just put your sex tape out there and probably get a lot of offers. I don't know, but to just do it. But isn't that isn't that know. the way to keep their integrity? I suppose since they're do not doing tape? porn, keep their integrity. Well, I mean, they're, that's bypassing yeah, the whole porno thing. Yeah, you're doing it with someone thing. that's consensual. That you know, you're yeah, you're. you're, you're I your, hope they're all from consensual. From what I understand, <laughs> from what I understand, the Hulk Hogan one is supposed to be not quite so consensual Come on. Oh, yeah. feeling. I'm serious. It's supposed to be his best friend's wife, right? Oh, stop. <laughs> I love this. It's it all is. news. I heard about it the other day. Yeah. 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 Really? It's, yeah. Yeah, and apparently about there's it. a big mix-up. Okay, didn't want it when to you do that, that, like, you, you, you go to your best friend's wife and then you tape that? He, no, the, really? the, the, like the best friend asked him. That's what you get. <laughs> That's what happens when you're Hulk Hogan. Wrestling used to be a lot okay. more interesting back in the day. It's Listen, just that, I grew up with a cornfield behind my house. I'm, you know, Bible Belt Catholic, what can I say? Yes. Other yeah. stuff is like, la, la, la. I don't yeah. know how to process <laughs> this. I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Are they doing any more housewives? Uh, yes. Any more uh, cities? They need, we need a celebrity housewives. We were going over it today. We need to do a celebrity housewives. Just all, all celebrity housewives. Who have we got so far? We got um, Dog the Bounty Hunter's wife. Oh, oh my gosh, this is a great idea. Um, what a super idea. Hillary together. Clinton. Who else have we got? Um, Hillary Clinton and Dog's wife. Yes. <laughs> Hulk Hogan's wife, because the whole sex state thing, we just thought we'd bring it up. Oh, yeah? That uh, Shannon Tweed? Got? Shannon Tweed, that's great. Hey. Um, we got Charlie yeah. Sheen, just to impregnate everybody. <laughs> 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 Somehow he's, he's, he's just in there. Oh, the, that's the good. Thing. Um, yeah. Oprah, she's common law. Oprah would have everybody not. like chilled out. Like she'd have everyone in counseling. It would just but couldn't be... we put Oprah's fella on there? Because isn't Stedman. he a housewife? Stedman. <laughs> that's true. Stedman's, Stedman's a housewife. housewife. Yeah. Stedman we could have Stedman. Yeah, Oprah can't be on there. Uh, yeah, it's not Oprah. <laughs> Angelina Jolie, because she's got like 17 kids, doesn't she? Yeah, or you could put the quintuplets one. Who's the, or the, the, oh, one, the, the baby mom? The Octomom. Yeah. Don't they have one already? Didn't she oh. do a sex tape? I don't know. Why is getting knocked up and having <laughs> 17 children at once oh. now make you a star? Yeah. Why is that? Yeah, because it's... That's fame. It's, now it is. Well, it's different. It's unique. It's, it's it. different. <laughs> it's unique. I like that. It's different, so we're yeah. going to put you on TV. I don't know. Three kids. I do. Wow. Yeah. Girls, boys? All boys. Three boys. Yeah. How old are they? 17, no, 18, 16, and 14. 18, 16. And Man, how is this for your boys? Because when when oh, when yeah. I was a teenager, if one of our friends had a hot mom, <laughs> they they heard it so you much. Didn't have too many. <laughs> oh my I gosh, she's so cute. Uh, well, my boy, the show. You mean how is the show? No, them. Like, do they just not want to bring their friends around because their friends are just like, hey, I want to go hang out with you and your mom today. I don't know. They don't share it's, that with me. If there okay. is any of that, I don't hear about no, that. No. Oh, there is that. You think? Oh. Rest assured, there is that. Oh yes. Well, yes, it goes on. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to them about it. It is really? the cycle of the teenage life. Like, Shut up, mom. You know, Shut up. I, it's, it's fun, though. I, do, they, I have so many boys over there constantly. It's <laughs> yeah, like, that's, it's, there you have it. This morning when I woke up, I had kids on the couch, kids in the room, all these boys. And I was like, guys, this place looks like a frat house. Yeah, they're just like, like well, of really course it does. You have that's the best excellent. TV, and it's a really comfy yeah, couch. And, I don't know. Yeah. You Your mom lets you sleep on the couch. Okay. Yeah, she's apparently an orphanage, part-time orphanage. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, right? Exactly. We, uh, we sent... Sorry. <laughs> yeah, go. okay, Pretty sorry. Chaotic. We just got off topic. It's cool. Yeah, no, it's, it's good. I'm, it's fine. <laughs> we sent uh, our reporter, Tom, out on the street again. He's tirelessly working on his next assignment busy, right busy, now. Busy. busy, He's a busy guy. Yeah. yeah. And uh, let's see what he got up to. Here I am. It's Tom. I'm here at the Steve Na at the Steve Nash Fitness Club, and Joe here is going to give me some tips to train for one hell of a cathlon. So first things first, uh, what's your fitness level? 
Um, hmm. Well, my phys ed teacher did say that I was a bit of an insurance write-off, but that was 10 years ago, so I've built up since. Excited to crush a workout with me or what? You bet. All right. One thing I'm gonna do to get you started is to kind of see um, a little bit of what you do for a regular workout. During the old days in, in school, school we, we always did the leg first, then the, then the arms second, so. Obviously I do a lot of hiking and I rode a horse and. All right, so here we're gonna do here is we're gonna do max effort push-ups, okay? For... Oh, I did it again. Come on, without that. The sweat is making it difficult. Come on. Is that the most pushes you've ever done before? Uh, second most. Do you know anything about Steve Nash? Um, I think I had a cousin who met him one time. Pet Shop Boys? They used to wear these on their heads all the time. No, they never trained here. Do you wear those on your head? Uh, only if I've been naughty. <laughs> um, shock put. Um, did the athletes suffer shock when throwing this or? Shot put. Oh, shot shot put. Okay. It's like once every 15 seconds. I want to thank Joe, my trainer here, for one hell of a day at the Steve Nash Sports Club. Wheeze box, here I come. It's a very cold, uh, cold studio today. We're freezing. Warm fire down um, below us. But we are gonna do rapid fire What's right that? now. It's uh, where we rapidly fire questions at you. Hence oh, the name, rapid okay. fire. I Everybody told you has I had problems. Kind of a late yeah, night like what is last night, didn't What's I? Happening? <laughs> okay, you don't have to answer quickly. No, okay. answer quickly. First thing that comes to mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, don't even right. think about it. Okay, yeah, okay. Don't even think. okay. 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 Uh, we're gonna stick to the TV subjects. Um, right. Charlie Sheen or Charlie Rose? Charlie Rose is intelligent. Yeah. Charlie Sheen's not intelligent. Really? Oh shoot! <laughs> <laughs> he seems to be doing quite well for himself. I don't know. Yeah. Um, uh, and trickery. Trickery. Sorry, Charlie. Okay, Charlie Rose. Awesome. Um, Doogie Howser. In the closet or out of the closet? Which one you like better? Out of the closet. Yeah, I guess. Cool. Yeah, it's absolutely. Good. Okay. Cheers or Fraser? Cheers, because I've never seen Fraser. Oh, really? It's quite funny. Is it? You should watch. It's very okay. intelligent. Okay. Let's go back to the okay. Intelligent comedy. Yeah. Um, moms or milfs? <laughs> Who wrote? Moms who wrote or that? Males? Is this a question for me? I don't know. <laughs> Just appear. I'm going it. moms. I'm going moms. Okay, moms. Ooh. <laughs> you guys, you, what do you want um, to say on that one? Okay, uh, best hair on television. Uh, Donald Trump or Dog the Bounty Hunter? Ooh. Oh, that's tight. Um, no, neither I'm, of those. I'm going to have to say, I'm going to go with the Donald. Donald? I'm really? going to go with the Donald. I like yeah, Dog. I mean, yeah, like you dog. like dog? The answer is dog. The correct answer is dog. I think neither of those um, dudes Really? But Donald personally. has to do, that's a lot of quaffing. I get with, I mean, Donald does put some effort into that. The dog's not a lot of effort. See, I'm like that. the dog because when I was eh, anywhere oh, from gosh. 10 to 16, <laughs> I had the mullet. I had the crazy mullet. Oh, and I did? did at one time get it permed. We won't oh, talk nice. about that anymore, <laughs> but it looks pretty super okay. awesome. It was, it was like the dogs if I would have dyed it blonde. But I didn't, okay. so kind of was just Few. Whatever. Yeah. Few. And the last one, One Night in Paris or Kim Kardashian Superstar? Come on. Kim Kardashian Superstar. Yes. <laughs> yes. Perfect. It's 
it's in the daytime they turned on the Absolutely. lights. That is why it's better. <laughs> this nighttime vision. <laughs> this was fun. Thank you for coming. Thank you. I had so much fun. Are we done already? Yeah, we're done. It's that it. quick. Party's over. Wow. That quick. That's... <laughs> She just I keeps looking at it. We get that a lot, boom, me boom. and Sean. So, you know, are we done already? Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, you can you can take the the boom home with you. Really? If you like. yep. Yes. Yep.